Okay, hi, my name is Cliff and I'm going to be showing you about the spa shop climbing facility that we have here at Spa Shop College. So the main function and purpose of the climbing wall is to introduce climbing to maybe beginners or to let more experienced climbers have a go at different disciplines of climbing on the wall. They offer three disciplines of climbing here, they are bouldering up to the library line on, on the wall. We also do top rope climbing, which is why we have these ropes here on the head. And also lead climbing, which is why there are bolts in the wall for the people to put quick ropes into. We have this green line here on the floor to keep people nice and safe. So we have our danger zone and our nice and safe zone. And also anchors on the floor that you can clip into when you are belaying someone, just in case you need some extra support when you are a beginner. The purpose and the function is also to provide a nice fun place and a safer atmosphere for people, as we always have qualified instructors like Scott on hand to help us out to make sure we're nice and safe when we are. So to keep the facility nice and safe, we always have mandatory inspections. We have a uh, certificate just on the wall over here, which says that we have been inspected by an external body to make sure that the facility is nice and safe. And the wall here was made by Entreprise, which is a company that does all of the uh, climbing wall stuff for the UK mainly, just to make sure that it's all structurally sound and nice and safe so that we can climb on it without getting hurt. All of the holds may be changed and put in by qualified instructors like Scott himself, but originally it would have been made by Uh One of the strengths of our climbing wall here is that we do have lots of different routes. So we have the route cards down the bottom that tell you all of the different uh, route types and uh, have a grading system by them as well. The higher the number or letter, the harder the climb is, but that means that it's nice and accessible for all kinds of different people. As well as that, in the winter climbing gyms do tend to get quite cold, so we do have heating here, which keeps it nice and warm so that you're more comfortable when you're climbing. Saying this, there is no air conditioning and there are lots of lovely windows, which although this does keep it nice and bright in the winter, it does mean that it is boiling hot like a greenhouse effect in the summer and we do not have any, any air conditioning like those industrial uh, zone kind of climbing gyms that you might find elsewhere. Another disadvantage is that we do have the three disciplines of climbing but we don't have any auto belays just yet. We would like to get some children up at the top, that would be a good uh, improvement to make to this climbing gym as it means that it's more accessible for beginners as you don't need a belay and also means you need less people when you're climbing as well. Another improvement that I would like to make, which is a bit of a disadvantage right now to this place, is that there's no anti-aliming power. There's the pop one just down the end on the flat wall, which doesn't get used too much, just above the storage cupboard at the end, there where our PPE's kept, and then people will be able to anti-aliming down there as well, which would be a great addition.